The 7th and 8th of October 2016 will not be forgotten in a hurry by Nigerians. For the first time, serving Georgies and justices were arrested in different parts of the country with a failed attempt in Port Harcourt, the River State's capital. This move has continued to elicit different reactions from the judiciary and Nigerians alike. While some say the move is in order, others think otherwise. By the Monday, the 24th of October, the Chief Justice of Nigeria launched the National Judicial Policy and also set up a Judicial Ethics Committee. He explains the rationale behind the action and how it will help sanitize the judiciary. The National Judicial Policy is born out of the realization that the Nigerian judiciary has been adversely affected by the absence of a clear, coordinated policy framework that defines its core morals, values, objects and aspirations. Besides making a case for the financial autonomy and independence of the judiciary as an arm of government, Section 2.2.4 of the policy says that complaints made against judicial officers shall not be disclosed to the media, while Section 2.2.7 says that where such a leak is occasioned by the complainant, all investigation into the complaint shall be halted and the leak investigated. And should the complainant be found culpable in the leak, such a complaint will be discarded. But in section 2.2.9, the policy gave the NJC discretionary powers to decide if and when it will make the reports of its findings public. What we have here predated this incident by several years. Now what people, the National Judicial uh, Council, uh, national judicial policy has now been inaugurated. They put two plus wrong two together and come to a conclusion. It is because the, the National Judicial Council is now G3. It wants to cover up and make it. No, it's not like that. Reactions to this move vary. For this journalist, it is of no effect. Let them keep their secret secret, but we as journalists will all go out and see how we can get them out for the public to see. But not everyone feels this way. What that is going to do is to not just uh, you know, reinforce the shroud of secrecy, but also to actually shield uh, um, offending of uh, officials and uh, corrupt officials. Others are of the opinion that there needs to be a balance to ensure not just the protection of the accused persons, but also carry Nigerians along. One, the NJC has a responsibility to ensure that its processes are seen as transparent by Nigerians, to also show that it is working towards responding to the complaints of judicial uh, corruption that is rife as we, as we speak. Uh, but also it has a responsibility to protect the judges from frivolous, mischievous and malicious allegations. Since you cannot stop the media from doing their job under Section 22, under the um, Freedom of Information Act, the best thing is to allow the process of allegations and defense witnesses and then investigation and then judgment and then verdict to pass through the normal uh, procedure. You cannot tell the world, notwithstanding what you have been hearing, this is the correct position. One thing everybody agrees on, however, is that the judiciary as the foundation of a democratic society needs to regain its pride of place in the hearts of Nigerians, a step that is needed now more than ever. Amaka Okafo, Channels Television News.